Hello my beauties, it is Holly Honjo, welcome back to my channel. I think today's joyful movement is pretty self-explanatory, it's in the title. This is just a very quick warm-up that you can do before any of my workouts. Um, it's gonna be about eight minutes, we've got 16 exercises, 30 seconds with 10 seconds in between just for me to explain and change positions. Nothing extreme, nothing on the floor. We will be doing some inchworms, which I will show you modifications for using a chair. And we will also have some squats, which um, I have a video for modifications for that too, if you're not too sure. Um, this might seem like a little bit of a workout and definitely it's kind of like a cardio workout. The aim of a warm up is to get your blood pumping, to get you kind of out of breath um, and get your body warmed up. So that being said, let's get started. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge thumbs up. We're gonna be starting out with a march or a jog. So up to you, go at your own pace. As with all of these exercises, please do go at your own pace. Let's get started. So you can either march or you can jog. I'm gonna jog. Hopefully it's not too loud for the neighbors. Hold those boobs, get them under control, get those legs up. It's morning, so I should be okay. Okay, nice. We are gonna be going into a legs comfortable distance apart and we're just gonna be tapping those toes and coming up, here we go. Make sure you're breathing through. This is just really to get your body warmed up. Next up, we have a side to side elbow. So just going, what are we doing? Oh yeah, like this, hold on. There we go. So you can just go at your own pace, really squeeze those elbows and arms back. Uh, it took me a while to get in the rhythm of things. As you know, I'm not very coordinated. Okay, next up we are gonna be doing some jumping jacks, but without the jumps. So we're just gonna step it out to the side. Okay, here we go. Get those arms up. If you want to go faster, go faster. If you wanna jump, go for it. <laughs> side to side, here we go, and you can kind of stay down, keep your back kind of straight, just warming up those legs, remember to breathe, gentle kind of lunging from side to side. Feel that stretch 
in your inner thigh. You might have one leg tighter than the other. I know I do. Use the leg that's got all the weight to push yourself up. Okay, next up, we're gonna be doing some hip rotations. So keeping on the same leg, lifting leg up and bring it out and back round. Out and back round. If you need a chair or a counter to steady yourself, please go ahead. to the other side now. Definitely starting to feel a little bit warmed up. Here we go. You can put your arms out for balance if you need to. Next up, we have got an inchworm, and after the inchworm, we are gonna take a short break if you need it. If not, skip ahead. Let's do inchworms. Here we go. Into your plank, back up. What a view, eh? Grab a drink. Next up is an overhead reach. So we're just gonna reach up. Really stretch those obliques. Get that side stretched out. my mum's aerobics classes. Next up are squats and I don't mean my mum was a teacher, I mean when I used to go with my mum. Go as deep as you can, make sure that knee doesn't come over those toes. If you can't go too deep, don't worry, just do a shallow squat. As you come up, squeeze those cheeks. doing a kick with a toe touch, stretch out those hamstrings, glutes, here we go. Breathe out as you bring that leg up. is a little bit of a goofy one. We're just gonna be doing some hip circles, nice and easy, loosen up those hips. About halfway through, we'll change the direction. I've never been able to do hula hoop. Oh, I've tried, it looks really cool. Yeah, let's do it the other way. But it always just falls to the floor. Oh, there we go. Okay, next up we're just gonna be doing 
calf raises and pulling those arms back. If you need a chair and you can just do it with one hand, that's okay too. Bye, my darlings. Bye.